The Big Bang wasn't an explosion in space. It was the rapid expansion of space-time, matter, and energy from an incredibly hot, dense state approximately 13.8 billion years ago. But what was it actually like? Scientists can't observe the moment itself, but through physics and cosmic evidence, we can reconstruct a compelling picture. In the very beginning, just a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe was unimaginably small, hotter than anything we can replicate, and filled with pure energy. At this stage, the fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces were unified. As space expanded, it cooled, allowing particles like quarks and electrons to form within the first millionth of a second. By the time one second had passed, protons and neutrons began to coalesce. Within the first three minutes, simple atomic nuclei like hydrogen and helium formed in a process called Big Bang nucleosynthesis. But the universe was still too hot for electrons to bind to them and form stable atoms. It wasn't until about 380,000 years later, when temperatures dropped to around 3,000 Kelvin, that neutral atoms could finally form, releasing the cosmic microwave background CMB radiation we detect today. The early universe was a glowing fog of plasma, dense and opaque. As expansion continued, matter clumped under gravity, eventually forming stars and galaxies. The faint afterglow of the Big Bang, the CMB, still blankets the cosmos offering a baby picture of the universe in its infancy. While we can't witness the Big Bang directly, its fingerprints are everywhere, from the abundance of light elements to the large-scale structure of the universe. Scientists continue to use telescopes, particle accelerators, and supercomputers to probe deeper, revealing not just what happened, but how our universe evolved from a tiny seething point into the vast, star-filled expanse we see today.